So do you want some insane freaking crazy motors? Well, stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, guys. So before building or while building this, I was telling you about these motors that I thought they were absolutely insane. However, I just didn't want to give my verdict just yet until I put them on a heavier build. Now, these motors, these are the Sunny Sky Edge Racing 2800 KV. I'll leave a link to them down below. Now, uh, before putting them on this build, I had them on two previous builds, which uh, these motors completely annihilated. Um, they were pretty light builds also, so I didn't really want to give my verdict in just yet on these motors, but they were absolutely insane, and I could tell the difference that I've never ever used a motor this insane in my life before. So now we've built this guy, and um, this guy is a pretty heavy guy. Like right now, just standing like this, he is around maybe 374 grams. So let's just check this real quick. This is with props on. With everything else, with even a GoPro, it's over 500 grams here. So 374 with props on here. So it is a pretty heavy guy. All right, so now we have we have these motors on a pretty heavy quadcopter. And how do they perform? They still perform absolutely insane. I have never, ever used a motor this insane before. It felt like I was flying a light quad. That's how strong and that's how good they were. Usually on such high KV motors and pretty large motors, you get kind of like a slingshotting effect where the low end's not there, but once it starts picking up, it just goes full throttle. However, this one is not the case at all. The power is on all levels. It's just, it's just, I all I can, all I'm going to be able to say is just insane. Um, the stopping power is beautiful. That means when I'm just flying and I just turn, punch it, and it just stops in midair. For a heavy quad, this is absolutely crazy. Um, I, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. This is, I've never, ever used a motor like this. For example, here's another thing. Uh, first flight, right before I took off, quads on the floor, armed it. Gave it a little throttle. As soon as I touched the throttle, this thing just popped up in the air. It was just... I, at that moment of time, I knew these motors were just going to be very good. So I've had these motors so far on three quads. I had them on the iFlight iX5. I've had them on the... Um, what else did I have them on? Actually, I forgot what else. I had them on two other quads. The iFlight just... That, this, these motors completely annihilated it. The speed, the, the, the performance was just absolutely out of this world. Um, I've used many, many motors... And I, had, I could totally tell the difference between these motors and anything else. Usually other high-end motors are pretty close pre pretty close to each other. You can tell in some specific areas, you know, kind of how like the launching effect or how the power is put through. Or, you know, what else is there? Or the efficiency and all that kind of crazy stuff. But these are just 100% completely different than anything I've ever used from any motor. They're just fast and freaking powerful like really really powerful and i do highly recommend you pick up some um if you're looking for some huge crazy power and, and don't forget these also make a heavy ass quad seem like a super light quad because they're just so powerful and i didn't use no expensive props i used some king kong 5045 tribally so imagine if i went some for some dial props or some cyclones or some whatever i did not even use that i used the cheapest prop i could find which is a king kong 5045 5 inch tri-blades and it performed this good so that right there says a lot so if i were to put the dowels and i will be making an update video and to test it out with that it's just going to be absolutely ridiculous some some 50 some 5046 tri-blades or even some 5050s or some 5150s it's just, it'll, this thing will just literally rip the sky um so these motors i have never used the motor this crazy in my life before i have the t-motor version 3s i have the f40s and the f60s i have all those motors but these just for some reason stand out like crazy okay you might say oh no because it's a high kv that's why no no no, no. i know how high kv flies high kv doesn't really have that low end it's just it's like a, a slingshot effect it just goes and then all of a sudden it just pushes you this one it doesn't it's just always pushing you that thrust is always there it's very beautiful and um they're just very good. Very, very good, actually. So uh, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I'm going to leave you guys with the FPV footage. And, um, yeah. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care. Come and fly away with me. Come and fly away with me. Come and fly away with me. Come, come and fly away with me.
just been